shot of So a couple of things that we've had to do uh, before we could move too far was I did manage to find another one of these little adapters for the rocker arms that I was telling you I was had lost or misplaced or couldn't find. Got those all cleaned up, got some push rods cleaned up and we're in the process of getting the rocker arms cleaned up. Once we do that we can put the lifters in, push rods, heads and start buttoning up the top end. So that's kind of the goal today. So hope you stick around. So now that we're ready to start putting things together up here, we've got our lifters soaking in oil. We're gonna drop those in right now. All right, so now we're ready for some head gaskets and uh, move forward from there. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take some brake cleaner and wipe down the surface where the head gasket's gonna meet. Okay, so I spent the most of the morning just cleaning up all these parts and getting all the gunk and dirt out of them. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start putting the valve train together, starting with the push rods. So we've got the valve train all tightened up and not necessarily the lash all adjusted but close enough that I think that we can start the vehicle and do the final adjustment while it's running. Kind of an old school trick. So before we go and get the intake set on here with the gaskets and everything, a couple of things that I wanted to point out to you. The, the four end bolts here and then down here are the only ones that aren't clear through which means the bolt doesn't go all the way through a hole and out the other side. They're closed in. So they were full of junk and I actually had to take a tap and go down through and clean those threads out or else these bolts wouldn't go into place. And I did have to scavenge for a couple of bolts and I made sure that we had all, uh, all these fixed up. So we're going to get the intake gaskets on and get them sealed up on the ends here and then we can set that into place. Once we get that done, we're going to tape everything up. And I do have a set of chrome valve covers here, so you'll have to stay put and see if we're actually going to use those on this because as of right now, you guys don't know what color we're going to do this. So once we get the intake on, 
We're gonna do something up with the color and then at the end of the video, we'll do the big reveal. So let's get the intake gaskets put into place and get this ready to be taped up and painted. So we've got our four piece intake gasket set. So we've got our front and our back and then our regular looking gasket. So these are rubber and they are made basically to set uh, with these little plugs down in the hole. Just like so for that side. And just like so for there. And they've got little indentations right here and here. We're gonna put some uh, uh, RTV down there to help hold these in place, as well a little bit along the edges. And then these will set right down into those grooves. Just like so. So let's get started. So you guys probably saw us struggling with that intake to get it put into place and get those bolts in. Well, what we determined the problem was, was these things were keeping the uh, intake raised too far so that the bolts wouldn't actually line up. So dad suggested that we take those out, just use silicone and it squished down enough that we got all 12 bolts in. So I did have to put a washer on this one, but We've also got our lift points here that we've got to put in. And the front one's gonna go here and here, and the back one goes over here. So we'll get those cleaned up because we're gonna paint those as well. And uh, then we'll start taping things up here. Okay, so we're out here in the makeshift paint booth and we're getting ready to spray some primer. I've already started and forgot to hit the record button. So we're gonna spray, spray it down with some uh, primer first, and then we're gonna throw some color on it and uh, let her dry and then we'll reveal the final color. Okay, so now that we've got the primer on, it's pretty well set up. Let's get at it with the new color. And for that, you guys are just gonna have to wait. Okay guys, it's time to reveal to you the final color for the small block Chev because, well, it's done. It's all assembled, other than the valve covers which we're gonna swap from the current motor. Everything as you see here is the way it's gonna be dropped in the truck. So without further ado, let's take a look at the new small block Chevy for Project Dale.
Well, there you have it, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the black here on the engine for Project Dale. I like it. And as you guys know, the real benefit to doing it in black is that when you put it in the truck, it's going to look like it belongs there. It's original. And that's kind of the look I'm going for. That's what the whole theme of Dale has been all along. So we've got it black here. We still got the transmission to do. That's the next on the agenda. But for now, we're going to close out this video. Well, like I said, guys, that's going to do it for this video. We're going to get inside the truck here where it's a little less breezy. And keep in mind that the Car Guy and Six Fan Show is on Thursday evenings, 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and 9 Atlantic. That's with Grant, Tommy, and I, who is Straight Six Fan. I'll put his link right here so you guys can head on over there and check things out because when we go live, you'll get notified if you're subscribed. If not, well, you're taking your life into your own. No, I'm kidding. You're just taking a chance on not getting uh, watching the show live. So also, if you're not subscribed to me, I would encourage you now is the time to do that because we have lots of great stuff going on here. Very, very soon we'll have the engine put in Dale and get that first start with the new transplant. So it's something that I'm looking forward to. I know you guys are too. So stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.